Hi, my name is Richard Morgan, Process Development Manager at Control Techniques. To maintain higher production, quality and process yield targets, we have been investing in manufacturing automation solutions. This video showcases two such systems from our process development team. Introducing an automated cell on the front end of our Unidrive M Frame 3 assembly line has allowed us to raise productivity through quicker cycle times and together with line rebalancing has generated a 78% increase in units per hour within the existing assembly line footprint. The automated cell handles the initial stages of the Frame 3 inverter build, creating a sub-assembly by attaching an alloy heatsink to a die cast chassis, fixing grounding screws and screen printing a heat transfer compound to the heatsink. The completed sub-assemblies are then presented to operators via an outfeed for the remainder of the build to be completed manually. The automated system creates sub-assemblies using two six-axis universal robots working in parallel and a separate heatsink preparation and inspection station. The robot arms pick and place all component parts, as well as positioning an intelligent torque gun for fastener attachment. Presentation of component parts is very important to minimize cycle time and reduce system complexity. As a result, inverter chassis are held in a bespoke trolley for the robot to pick from, and fasteners are presented for pickup using screw and nut feeders. Heat sinks are picked using a vision system attached to one of the robots to avoid misplacement. The heat sink station is controlled by a Control Techniques Digitax HD and incorporates a Unimotor HD for indexing heat sinks between individual processes within the station. The compact Digitax drive was a perfect fit for a minimal panel design and it's really great that we can use drives to build drives. The heatsink preparation process involves removing any debris from the top surface of the heatsink using a vacuum, pre-screen print vision inspection to verify the integrity of the rubber seal, heat transfer compound screen print, and vision inspection to verify the results of the screen print process. The final sub-assembly is placed in an outfeed for the operators to complete the remainder of the build. In our PCB assembly plant, we have invested in two systems to improve quality, process yield, and health and safety. Some of our PCBs incorporate small door to boards. To improve placement accuracy and repeatability, we use two six axis robots to insert door to boards into motherboards as part of our surface mount process. This has led to improved positional placement accuracy, which in turn has raised process yield. Door to boards are fed from a bowl feeder to a fixed datum. The robots then pick from the datum and insert into the motherboard. Many of our products use snap-in electrolytic capacitors, which by their design require some force to insert into the PCB. Automating this process removes the risk of repetitive strain injury that can occur with manual insertion. And to this end, we have invested in a further robot arm to pick and place these types of capacitors. The robot's built-in vision system is used to identify and locate capacitors within the boxes, as well as identifying the position to place them in the PCB. Capacitors are picked using a vacuum cup and an external vision system is used to calculate the angle of rotation to ensure the capacitor is correctly orientated for successful insertion into the PCB. We continue to look for opportunities that are improved by the use of automation to enhance our process capability throughout the manufacturing environment.